This week, we watched several new tools from Makita hit the test track. The Milwaukee 1-inch D handle breaks the torque test channel, and we have details on our live 100K event, and you won't believe what we're giving away. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at ohiopowertool.com. And skill, the tools to do the job, the technology to do it better. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And we have a bunch of news and reviews to get to this week, starting with Metabo HPT, which is about to launch a pair of new nailers that showed up on two of our favorite review channels this week. Over at Toolbox Buzz, Rob Robillard picked up the soon-to-be-released Metabo HPT 18-volt, multi-volt, 18-gauge brad nailer. This updated version is now 30% smaller, 31% lighter, and features an extremely effective air spring drive system that Rob does a better job explaining than I would. Rob delivers his typical detailed analysis coming back with only one real complaint, that being the lack of a lockout feature when you're out of nails. Besides that, he seems pretty pumped about this tiny powerhouse. Brian, the workshop addict, got the same Metabo HPT Brad Nailer, but also got an example of the new Metabo HPT 36 volt multi volt cordless paper strip framing nailer. You got this. Whew, thank you. As he points out, Hitachi had a great reputation for making extremely good nailers, and when they switched their name to Metabo HPT, besides confusing the crap out of every Metabo fan, they also continued their tradition of making really solid nailers. Brian was impressed with the small size of the new Brad nailer, just like Robillard, but it was the new framing nailer that got my attention. Brian takes his time walking you through every single feature and carefully explains why the technological enhancements in both of these nailers take another important step towards the death of the framer's compressor. For the full review, head over to Workshop Addict. Moving on to Makita, Dave welcomed us into the man cave again, this time opening up a brand new Makita subcompact drill driver, the exact same one that we announced last week here on Belt and Boxes. This is the Makita XFD15, and wow, is that thing small. Look at it next to the Milwaukee M12. But of course, this is the brushless 18 volt drill, which means you'd expect it to perform fairly well while enjoying the ergonomic convenience of such a small form factor. And the Makita doesn't disappoint, but being a subcompact, you're simply going to find its limits earlier than you would on a full size tool. And if you watch this video, you're gonna see that happen. But Dave is just getting started, and so we can expect to see this new Makita take on its competitors in the very near future. Now we couldn't talk about Makita without heading to New Zealand, where our buddy at Tools and Stuff keeps buying Japanese versions of Makita tools that the rest of the world has yet to see, including XGT 40 volt circular saws. So far here in the States, we've got a seven and a quarter inch in both a sidewinder and a rear handle configuration, and of course the huge 10 and a quarter inch version as well. Previously, TNS showed us an absolutely amazing five inch XGT saw with a bunch of genius features, and now he's managed to get a six and a half inch version as well. At first glance, it looks a lot like the five inch version, including a black plastic body, polished plate, and what he thinks is an inverted blade. It's a shame that they've put the blade on upside down, but I'll get over that. Silly Hobbit, you're in the Southern Hemisphere. That blade's right side up to us. He likes the improved battery orientation, allowing you to use a much larger five amp hour battery, that's about the same size as the saw. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the cool partially removable base like the five inch, but you can't have everything. Of course, with this running on the 40 volt XGT platform and a smaller blade, you expect the torque and the power to be pretty fantastic. To find out if it is, just head over to Tools and Stuff. Our last Makita stop is with Tim over at Shop Tool Reviews. Thanks to Makita, dispensing grease just got easier. This is the Makita XPG01 18 volt grease gun. And while Tim seems to be pretty excited about it, this is a little outside of my range. And while I may not know much about grease guns, I can always count on Tim to know more than enough for the both of us. And this time he takes the new tool into his shop and puts it to work. He seems to be pretty happy with the new addition and if this is a tool that would find a home in your workflow, I'll always suggest you get Tim's opinion first. You can watch the full review at Shop Tool Reviews. Moving on now to Milwaukee, the boys at Torque Test Channel finally got their hands on the boss, the VIP, the chief, the big kahuna, the tasty enchilada. The what? This is the Milwaukee one inch D handle high torque impact wrench of the junkyard gods, and it broke their torque dyno. <laughs> really? Sort of. It actually bent the one inch thick faceplate, seriously. Fortunately, they were able to replace it with a one and a quarter inch thick piece of steel that somehow manages to stand up to the big red beast. 
Now, this impact wrench is already something of a legend, coming out in June of last year and making a lot of noise ever since. Many of us have been waiting for this thing to show up on TTC, and this week it finally does. I don't want to spoil anything else. As always, their torque tests are easily as entertaining as they are educational, and you really should go watch this one. You know, sometimes the job doesn't call for the biggest tasty angelo whatever. Sometimes you just need an inexpensive tool with a bit less power but a whole pile of value. Fortunately, Jim over at Philly Fix has been running a series called Cheap Tool Tuesday, and this week he looks at some of the cheapest and consequently biggest impacts ever. I'm quite familiar with the Heart and Ryobi, but the other two were something new. That's the Parkside Impact, which isn't sold online but only in this German grocery store, which is where I normally buy my impacts, but I've been on this Mexican food kick, so my German grocery slash impact shopping has been sparse. But there it is, and Jim rounds off this group with a brand called Popo Man. And just like the name Cop Tool, it does not have anything to do with the police. <laughs> do not start that up again. And let me tell you, this ambitious group of go-getters didn't disappoint. To find out which of these tools is the king of entry-level oversized impacts, head over to Philly Fixed. Our last stop is in the tool review zone. Now, I'm sure you've seen this thing on Instagram or in TikToks. It's a crazy utility knife slash scraper, right? Well, Clint decided he wanted to see what all the fuss was about, so he reluctantly went to Lowe's. Man, this guy does not like Lowe's for some dramatic reason, and bought one for himself. There's not a lot of new information here. It does exactly what we've all seen it do, but it's just way more fun when Clint's doing the demo. All right, we have some crazy news for you. You might have noticed that thing floating over my head. That's our 100K subscriber silver play button from YouTube. Since we hit 100, we've been planning a 100K live event, and we have some crazy details for you. So we hinted already that this is going to be big, but honestly, it's already getting bigger than we kind of thought it was right. going to. As of right now, we plan to go live for at least two hours on Sunday, September 12th to hang out with you and give away a ton of cool stuff. Now, we've already told you about the $2,000 worth of gift cards, but as of right now, we also have over $3,500 in new tools. That includes tools from Ego, Skill, Flex, Heart, DeWalt, Ryobi, and more. At this point, we'd have to give away tools or a gift card every five minutes just to finish in two hours. So be sure you're going to be sitting down somewhere on September 12th from noon till, well, <laughs> whenever we finish giving away a crap ton of crazy prizes. It's going to be awesome. We'll also be doing a big Q&A where you can ask us almost anything you want. Almost anything. And we'll be playing some trivia games with our favorite content creators right here on YouTube. Plus, we'll be announcing our new production crew program, and you're going to want to be a part of it, so don't miss it. Last week, we got a look at whatever tool this thing is. I want to thank Skill and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, we couldn't do it without you. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, we hope that you subscribe. All right, guys. Have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next week.